India and China fight over a disputed border, and Taiwan could become a bargaining chip. Welcome back to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. While the world is kind of distracted by this whole coronavirus pandemic, the Chinese Communist Party has started pushing the envelope in several territorial disputes, with neighbors in the South China Sea, with Taiwan, with Japan, and now with India. On May 10th, Chinese and Indian troops clashed here in North Sikkim. It was a 150-person brawl with soldiers fighting and throwing rocks. Eleven soldiers were injured. Why? Because they were throwing rocks at each other. I didn't even know adults did that. But that was actually the second incident that happened between Chinese and Indian troops in less than a week. On the night of May 5th, 250 soldiers clashed in eastern Ladakh near Pangong Lake. So at least 400 Chinese and Indian soldiers have been involved in two separate skirmishes this month. These kinds of physical disputes between Indian and Chinese soldiers happen more often than you might think. China and India actually fought a full-on war over territory back in 1962. Now, both sides have chosen to substantially reinforce the deployment of armed forces for the time being. This may remind you of a similar border conflict that happened back in 2017, when PLA troops harassed Indian ones near the disputed border. Its personnel were caught on camera jostling with Indian troops sometime in second week of June across the ILA Sea in Sikkim. That resulted in a months-long conflict. But this time, both sides are trying to downplay the dispute. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Zhao Lijian said, China and India stay in close communication and coordination concerning our border affairs within existing channels. Meanwhile, one of India's top generals said, as far as the situation in the northern border is concerned, I will not call it skirmishes, I would rather say it is face-offs, and these face-offs have been happening in the past also. Nothing new about it. Yes, India and China are involved in a face-off. The Chinese Communist Party is trying to box India in. They control a port in Sri Lanka that could one day become a naval base. They're also helping India's rival Pakistan build another port that could also one day become a naval base. And they've been trying to interfere politically in several countries that border India, Nepal, Bhutan, and Myanmar. And judging by how aggressive the Chinese regime is getting with all of its neighbors, why is this latest border spat being treated as nothing of concern? Well, it could be because India is still deciding if it wants to align with China or the U.S. India has bargaining power with both countries. And now, there's an unexpected bargaining chip. Taiwan. India which is set to take over as the next chairperson of the World Health Organization's decision-making executive body in May, is faced with a major choice on whether to support a U.S. move to reinstate Taiwan's observer status at the World Health Assembly, or to China's opposition to it. And China's little incursion across the disputed border could be a gentle reminder to India that China has a military that's willing to fight. You know, just in case India decides to support Taiwan. Or it could just have been that some Chinese soldiers started throwing rocks. But if India feels like it has to make a choice between China and the United States, the choice is obvious, I hope. One shares India's democratic values. The other is an authoritarian regime known for a history of breaking promises. India shouldn't have to settle for a status quo where regular face-offs are nothing new. Speaking of which, since these latest face-offs, Chinese helicopters have been spotted flying along the border. And Indian fighter jets have now been deployed to the border as well. Something tells me I should save this graphic for future use. And now, it's the time when I answer questions from you, my loyal 50 Cent Army. Fans of this show who support what we do through the crowdfunding website, Patreon. 
Hydrogen One asks, thoughts on CCP taking slash stealing vaccine information across the globe in order to create and use as a bargaining tool? Ah, great question. As if starting a deadly global pandemic wasn't enough, the Chinese Communist Party has now been accused of trying to steal data on coronavirus research and vaccines. This claim has been made by the FBI and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. They didn't give a whole lot of proof, but it certainly follows the Communist Party's MO. Countries around the world have shut down their economies because of the coronavirus. And even as some begin to open up again, there are fears this will only result in a second, more deadly wave of the coronavirus. So if the Chinese Communist Party held the only vaccine for the coronavirus in its hands, it essentially can hold the entire world hostage since the entire world's economy would be on the line. And maybe then, countries wouldn't be so eager to investigate the origins of the coronavirus or pull their supply chains out of China. Basically, the Communist Party is trying to turn the coronavirus into a weapon it can use against the rest of the world. I hope it doesn't succeed. Thanks for your question. And for all of you watching, if you want to stand up to the Chinese Communist Party and YouTube censorship, consider joining the 50 Cent Army too. You'll have a chance to ask me questions on the show, and there are some other cool perks as well. Check out patreon.com slash chinauncensored to learn more. And be sure to subscribe. And check back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday for new episodes. Because YouTube isn't always sending out notifications about new episodes. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.